Welcome to another edition of Culinary Concepts with Martin Brothers Distributing. I'm Chef Steve Tizzy, and today we are gonna make a festive after dinner drink that your customers are sure to enjoy. So let's get started. For this after dinner drink dessert, we are gonna consist of using coffee on top, Rich is on top, of course, blue bunny ice cream everyone loves. We have some mints, and I've got some Irish cream. So let's get started by having fun with actually the mints. As you see, I've pulverized some up, so we're keeping it festive with some red and green, and we're gonna add the mints right into the blender, and we're gonna dust them. We're just gonna do a rough chop that is going to chop these up. We don't want to get a total dust on them. We just wanna do a nice rough chop and see all that coming out. And I'll tell you, it's looking beautiful, but we're gonna do just a little bit more. Oh, this is wonderful. I'll tell you what, here's what we've got now coming out of. See how we've got those pulverized up. We got a nice little dusting there. We've got some pieces in there that's gonna stay. Now let's start assembling our after dinner dessert drink. We're gonna start out first by a couple scoops of Blue Bunny vanilla ice cream. I like to put the ice cream in first just because the cool ice cream will help take the heat off of the glass when you add your coffee in. If you add hot coffee into a room temperature glass, you have the possibility of that glass cracking. So this is gonna help uh, take that situation away. So once we have that in, we're just gonna have some fun. We're gonna start garnishing our little glass early ahead of time. Um, we're just gonna drizzle some chocolate down the side. And this is just gonna help kind of flavor our ice cream. But this is where it gets fun. Remember the powder we made, the mint dust as I like to call it? We're gonna sprinkle some of that inside that's gonna stick inside to the coffee, into the glass. I think we ought to probably just put a little bit of uh, mint to the green in there just because we're doing it as a holiday festive drink. So now that we have that in there, we are going to start to add our Irish cream. Now Irish cream could be just probably about an ounce, ounce and a half in there is what we're gonna do, a typical shot that we're gonna add. So we have that in the bottom. Now we're gonna do the coffee. As we add this, uh, the warm to hot coffee in there, we're gonna start to see our ice cream rise to the top. It's gonna start to get very soft. It's gonna melt the chocolate. All those flavors are gonna blend together and it's gonna be a wonderful dessert. But to top it off, we cannot forget about the riches on top whipped topping. So now that we have the whipped topping on there, again, just a final, final dusting of our red and green mints. So now that we've got that, what a wonderful, attractive color for a festive holiday after dinner drink. This is a after dinner dessert drink your customers are sure to love. So let's get started with another wonderful dessert. For this dessert, we're gonna have a couple different components. We're gonna start out with a Sara Lee Bistro chocolate lava cake, a wonderful dessert with hot fudge in the middle that we're gonna go into the microwave with just to slightly heat it up to warm the fudge. We're gonna have some Blue Bunny ice cream with this dessert, and we're also gonna have some fresh fruit and to top it off with some riches on top whipped topping. And then we'll just garnish it with some of these Lion's dessert sauces just to give us some nice color appeal. So to start off by preparing the dessert, we have the chocolate lava cake, the hot fudge that's in the middle. We're gonna go in the microwave for just about 10 to 20 seconds. And I would like to say everybody's microwaves are different. Um, so I definitely suggest you look at your microwave, how strong it is. Uh, manufacturer says 30 seconds, but I'm gonna shorten that time down. And I like to watch it because if you can see inside your microwave, you, you know, you can see when the hot fudge starts coming out. Um, so we got our time in here. Oh, now look here, this is beautiful. See what's coming out right there is our hot fudge that's in our dessert. So now we're just gonna take and transfer this from one plate to our dessert plate. And I always like to even take some of this hot fudge and we're just gonna pour it right on the top so we get all every little bits of that that we can. Now the fun part is getting to slice this open. I always like to put one little slice in there. So as it goes out, they're gonna see that hot fudge that's gonna be in there. Who does not like chocolate 
and ice cream together. I'll tell you what, so when we get our nice little couple scoops of ice cream in there, those are gonna blend very well. People are gonna love those. So with our ice cream in there, we have a couple just little scoops, just enough to complement, and then some fruit compote. Okay, we're just gonna take some nice fresh fruits and we're gonna kinda go all around in the ice cream with the ice cream next to it, just cause who doesn't love fresh fruit with their chocolate, the strawberries, the ice cream, the fresh blueberries, raspberries, blackberries in here if we have them, I'll tell you. Look at your seasonal times of the year and look at some of the seasonal fruits. But then we have to have a nice little garnish. So what I like to do with these dessert sauces is, I like just to, for the chocolate lovers, let's just say that we got some chocolate lovers or we're just gonna put a little chocolate on there on the ice cream. But down here, we're gonna make some nice little designs. These are why I love these Lion's Dessert Sauces, is they are so quick and so easy to work with. And we're using a raspberry. We're gonna use a white chocolate. And then we're just gonna use a kiwi lime. And I'm using these more primarily just for the variety of the colors. Now we get to have the fun. As you can see, I have just some straight lines here that's gonna complement with the fruit. Now we're gonna take a toothpick and we're just gonna draw right through. And we're gonna to start to blend the colors together and give it just a beautiful design. So here we have a wonderful dessert with the Sara Lee Bakery, the chocolate lava cake, some blue bunny ice cream to go with it, some wonderful fresh fruit, and then to top it all off, I'll tell you what, you've got to have the richest on top whipped topping because that's gonna make it just wonderful. Thanks for watching this edition of Culinary Concepts. I am Chef Steve Tizzy with Martin Brothers Distributing and I look forward to seeing you next time. We hope you enjoyed our cooking tips, techniques, and recipes here at Martin Brothers. For any questions and additional recipes, visit martinsnet.com.